up YouTube it's your boy Jake Gutter in the building holding shit down um, I'm gonna do a video today on set equipments that are needed for guild raids because I know a lot of people are kind of like curious of what sets do you need to be an elite raider in guild raids so we're just gonna go over it and we're just gonna talk about it and get it rolling all right um we're gonna start with one star here and then we'll work our way around um Let's start with just party sets first, and then we'll go over what other sets that you need. Um, as far as one star goes, you do need at least three gnome sets. So it's an A rank set. It uh, really does wonders for when you're uh, in guild raids, because you might not think it, but that extra 250 increase in defense and the 1.5% to increase in attack to all allies actually makes a huge difference so um gnome sets are gonna be your party sets for your one star so you want to have like at least three three sets of those so that should be what you're aiming for two star there is none there's no party sets that are gonna help you on guild raids so don't even bother with it um yeah I don't think there's any two star alright um three star here now your goal is going to be to, um, you need at least two commander sets. So if you want to get to the elite level, now the commander sets are important because not only is it adding to the attack, you know, by, um, 1,185, but it's the HP that's in, that's important. That increase in HP is a big difference, you know what I'm saying? Because if you're running two sets, that, that's an extra 8,000 to HP, um, and that is going to make a big difference as far as Monday's raids, Friday's raids, um, and um, Sunday's raids as far as just tanking the boss, especially for Bell. For Bell to be able to tank the boss, you got two of these sets. That's a lot of HP being added to her. That is ideal. Um, now, two of those I feel is good. Now, most people, now, strategy support I don't feel is a must, but it's it's good. It's nice to have. Um Having one set wouldn't be bad. So um, it would be ideal for you to have three commander sets. But I think having three is a little too outrageous. And I know that everybody has gotten some strategy support um, pieces for free at some point in time. So um, it will be nice for you to finish this and at least have one extra set. So with these, I'm cool with it. I don't think I'll ever go for another commander because I got conned into transcending this before guild raids came out so that's three sets right there so they hustled the shit out of me um so anyways um so yeah strategy support would be nice to have um just to have so if you're not going to take the three commanders I would definitely get the strategy support system um another party set to have right here is um this set right here uh shadow corpse actually does a lot and especially like everybody should be aiming with their main damage dealers to be able to hit a hundred percent crit without your lord masteries and if you're a little shy um this set will help you get there because you might not think it but the increase in that uh crit rate by 200 helps out a lot and uh increasing allies uh crit damage by the two percent is a lot um, I think it's comparable to, like, the 2% is, like, comparable to, like, 800 attack. That would be, like, increasing all of your, your people's attack by, like, 800 or 600, somewhere in that range. So, that 2% actually is a lot. So, if you don't have, um, if you don't have, like, the strategy support, let's say you just have, like, one commander set or whatever, you can throw some Shadow Corpse on your people it's gonna work well too. It's not gonna add the HP, but it's gonna it's gonna get the job done. So um, I think I think that that's it as far as a uh, three star goes. Let me see here. Yep, that looks like it's it. Okay, four star. Now to be able to be an elite raider here, um, I feel bad for you if you did miss out on this, but this set right here from Nobly's event. Um, is a, is a much needed set here to be an elite elite raider now you could do it without it you know what i'm saying you're just going to see so much better of a score with your characters being able to tank more because you're getting that 1100 um 
eleven hundred to uh, defense to all all people, and then getting the extra eighteen hundred to attack from the people who are close by with the person wearing this man makes a huge difference in damage. So if you were fortunate enough to get that, then you're you're doing awesome. Um, if you did miss it, when the next Nobilis event comes, you need to make sure you get some sets of these. Um, I'm going to try to get me like quite a bit. I wish I would have stuck to my game plan. Um, I went for the... I was going to get four sets of these also to go with my four sets of, uh, of APB sets. But for some reason, I didn't get around to it. Um, I wish I would have now. But anyways, that's like the main set right there that you're going to want to get. So if you have that, you're good to go. If you don't, you kind of missed out. So um, there's no more party sets there. Um, five star, comm guides. Comm guides are so critical in battle of um, not battle of honor, but guild raids. So critical. Um, you need at least two sets of these minimum. You need two sets. And, um, like me, I got three. I feel like having three is a little overkill, but, um, you do need three if you want to for sure tank the boss, like on Mondays and, um, Sundays. If you want to for sure tank the boss and you don't want to leave no type of error, like I got people in the guild who don't run as many of these. They might not even run any because they feel like they're cool taking that damage. But I figured, you know, like why even risk it, you know, because if you get crit hit and you die... I mean, it's not really working out. And especially for the people who don't got a, a plus 13 Angel's Knight armor or Transcended uh, um, Defender of Earth. Like, I don't have Transcended one of those or my Angel's Knight set is not Transcended. So, for me, I run the extra comm guides just to make sure that my bell can, um, can make it happen. Like, when I run her, she has usually, she has like 83%. Uh, point something defense and when she heals herself and she's like all under all of her buffs and stuff she has like 136k uh hp so that's kind of like around the range to where you need somebody to uh tank somebody elite wise but i throw the comm guides because my hp is a little low you know what i'm saying you want it around the two two uh 245 mark when she heals herself so that's like kind of like what you're gunning for there so anyways that does it for the the party sets and how many that you need. Um, now let's go over some of the like the most critical sets in the uh, guild raids here. Now you're gonna always you're gonna need some uh, slime king sets. You're gonna need a minimum of like two of these to be an elite raider. Um, you're gonna need these for uh, bosses like um, which boss is it? Um, Friday's boss is attack type. So you want to have the Slime King for that, um, and for Muzaka days, it's an attack type. So if you're trying to build a Muzaka mercenary, you're going to need a Slime King. Um, for Friday, um, you're going to need a couple of these sets to make your people tank. You're going to need one for Crut. Um, you're going to need one for Lee, you know what I'm saying? Um, and usually your Merce will have one too. So that's that's a critical set right there in Guild Raids. Um, so you're going to need that. Of course you're gonna want your death blow set i don't think that it's really beneficial to have like more than that because on a lot of the days to where you can get a huge score it's all about bell being able to tank when you're like breaking the game getting these retarded runs um it's all about being able to tank the boss and if bell can't tank the boss it doesn't matter if you add more dps it just doesn't matter because she can't tank him to take him to that next level anyway so um i feel like one set is enough of that but i mean you can get more it's uh, up to you now the knight of the dawn set i feel is a required set for uh, evan there because um he can wear it because he can't wear death blow um a lot of people have the misconception here so let me just point this out this death blow is for attack type characters only i can't I can't tell you how many times I've talked to people in the guild or people in the game to where they're like, yeah, I'm going to put my death blow on Moss. Like, no, you can't put it on her. She's not attack type. So Evan cannot wear the death blow. It's not going to do nothing for him. So the best set in the game is going to be for him is going to be this Knight of Dawn. Um, you can run the Born Assassins, but this one does give the it does have higher stats. Um, it's not much, but I mean, hey, it's every little bit counts. So it's just slightly better. Um, 
it's not going to make or break you. So, I mean, you could do either one. Um, Born Assassin sets are good to have on deck also. So, you want to have some Born Assassins on there. Um, let's see here. I think that that's, that's pretty much cool. Um, now, as far as your two-star goes here, you're definitely going to want a Green Ranger for your... Uh, your bell to be able to tank the boss so that's going to be a set that you're going to want to get it's an S set it's not hard to acquire so you definitely want to make sure you at least get one of these sets I would never feel the need to where you're going to need multiple sets of the Green Ranger so I think if you just get one and transcend it to a 13 you're fine um, so that should be something that you work with on there uh, taunting busybody is really good too so I, I, I kind of like up in arms with which one's better here because um, this one does add the HP, and it does add a little bit more defense. The only downfall is is that this is a boot. Um, I have some extra pieces, so I probably plan on transcending it to see what it does. Just this is higher transcended, and this is uh this is a shield, so it does give higher um, HP than what this does. So that's just the name of the game. So it's kind of up for debate. If you're going no comm guides, then yes, you want to wear the Green Ranger. If you got plenty of comm guides that you're running, then I feel like Taunting Busybody would be better. So, uh, that's what the situation is there. Now, as far as Dasso sets go in, in Guild Raids, you need at least four, like, you don't need exactly four sets, but I would say in Guild Raids, just because of Smash Face Saturday, you know, I would say, um, just, you know, you would like to aim for four sets, four full sets, but I know that that's a lot for a lot of people, but I feel like you can get by just fine with two full sets. If you got six pieces, you can two piece them out, you'll be fine. Um, so I think that that's, that's cool there. So that's like, in time for your shot, I only feel personally you need one, and an extra set would be nice though. Um, cause now we're to the point to where we're, we're having like two main DPS people running. So you got Scion, you got Lee, you got Evan going. So this would be ideal for them. Do I feel like it's needed to get three? Fuck no. I think you can get by just fine with one, but it is kind of critical that you have the extra sets that add the 10% to attack or 12%, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever type of attack type set that adds the percentage is always ideal. So you're going to want like three types of sets that you can put on your three people like mainly doing a damage. I mean, it would be ideal for you to have more, but I don't think like it's critical for you to absolutely go out and get and make happen. Um, let's see here. Um, what else is there? Mm, green, uh, the Red Ranger is okay too. So, I mean, it doesn't, it's not too bad if you, if you use that, like, uh, Lab Demon set's like a good one, um, because it adds the the 10%, which is a two piece also, so that's not a bad option either. That or the Frenzy Token or Time for Your Shot, I think it's the most ideal for your DPS people, because you can two piece them and you can throw a bow on there. Um, all right. So as far as uh, three star goes here, you're definitely gonna want some Beast Reigns. Um, for some days, I feel like you can get by with just two full sets. Two full sets of Beast Rain, you're good to go. Um, I wouldn't stress it for anything else more than that. Um, I think that that's, that that's pretty much it. Now, this set right here, I can't wait to fucking finish it. Some bullshit. I hate looking at my two pieces here. This set will help you out a lot in guild raids. So this, this set right here, I would have to say, is an operation critical set to get. So this should be... A, on the top of your list um right up there now i wouldn't value it over the commander sets but I, this one should be the next set if you're looking to be an elite guild raider get this set it will help out on quite a few days to where you have options and you have things open um so that's pretty much it there um a counter set an os set is always nice to have so that's good to have and um, the Pink Ranger set, you should get at least three of these. Um, it's an S set, so it won't be too hard to get. Um, I say a good three Pink Rangers is fine. Four would be cool if you had it. Um, I think that that's a little overkill. I, me personally, I think you can get by with just two full sets. Um, but three would be a lot better just for Monday, taking Monday into consideration for Monday strategy. It would be nice to have more of those. Um, so anyways... 
that does it for the three star now the four star here the most critical set is right here devil's night set opens up so much doors for you to get a huge score so this set is needed you want to be an elite raider get one of these sets now you can get by with this set the high human guardian set like you could you could make some sacrifices to get this going but you're going to see more dps with this one i say just get both just to be on the safe side because it it opens up a lot more doors on what you can do um so this is like a very critical set um and of course the defender of earth if you're going to make a tank bell if you're going to make her super tanky um you're going to need this set and if you're going to pick something to transcend, transcend her uh, accessory first because it does add defense and HP. It's not as much as this, but I would prioritize her accessory over her armor. Maybe just do one on one. Um, good news is I did finish my hitter set today finally. So uh, we just got that high human set to put together and we got them all. Um, and of course, you know the sheriff set. Um, I think it would be cool if you kept like two on deck. I don't think that you'll ever need more than two. Dragon Slayers work just as well. Like there's not that major of a difference, you know, because we're rolling with multiple DPS heroes on your team now in a lot of these strategies to where I don't feel like, oh my God, I got to go out there and plus 13 a sheriff set because it's just that much more better. Um... It is better than the Dragon Slayer set, but not so much to where I'm like, oh my god, I gotta go get one. So I think just two sets will get you by just fine. Um, yeah, two sets will get you by just fine. So, you know, you want to have some sets of those and you want to have some options. Now for Moss over here, I like to run Moss on my Moss days. I like to run them with this Tower of Dawn Guardian set right here. Oh. Um, it's in pretty damn good shape over here. I like to run him with this, and I like to stack the MM set on him. And he fucking fucks some shit up, man. So I'm really liking that because it's easy to get him to 100% crit. Um, on Fridays, I like the Marksman set also on, like, uh, Gillen. Um, because he's able to achieve that high crit, you know what I'm saying, for them high crit hills. So he, uh, does the damn thing. So I like, I like this set a lot. So I think... Do I think you need to go out and get it? No, but I think it's nice if you do just happen to have it. Like, that's something that's cool. Um, the hitter set's nice, too, but like I said, the sheriff set does just fine, and it's an S set, and it's easy to get. The dragon slayer's an S set. It's easy to get. I like um, the sheriff set is better. It does do more damage, you know what I'm saying, over time as it scales, but I like it because it's universal. You can slap it on whoever, so that's, that's what the business is. Um... So I think you'll be fine with that. Um, I would go to Sheriff Sets. You know what I'm saying? Um, Alright, now 5 Star here. 5 Star gets a little interesting now. Now with the emergence of uh, Evan here, you're going to have to get you a client set if you don't have one. Um, I did finish my necklace for him today. I wasn't going to try too hard. I got this for him right here. I'm just going to roll with it. I'm cool with that. Um, you're definitely going to need an Angel's Knight set and when you do get a chance because it's going to really help out with you building a tank bell and it's going to really elevate your score um you want to get her you want to get the armor to a 13 first so if you're looking to transcend your uh your angel's knight set it is the best five star set in the game um so if you're going to start transcending anything especially if you want to be guild raid orientated focus on the armor first get the armor transcended first so focus on that um so the Angel's Knight set, you definitely just, you can get by with just one. Um, you can run multiple ones. I mean, cool, whatever. But yeah, so anyways, with the emergence of Evan here, you're going to need a client set. So you're going to need to build a client set for him. Um, now, I don't think that it's too critical because I think, I think over time, you know what I'm saying, a high human, because I don't know, I'd have to weigh out the, I'd have to weigh it out here and really see it because... It's pretty close. Now, if you have the if you have a 13 mace, then yeah, the client set's going to be better than the high human because it does give more attack because just for the simple fact the mace transcended gives you higher. Let's see here. What does that give you? Yeah, look, it's already at 47 at a level 12. It's going to be at 47, and this mace right here is at like a 48. So you're going to have more attack there, so I think that that might make up the difference. 
to where it might out trump that because what do we got 73 yeah yeah it's gonna be damn close um you can probably get by with a high a high human on him if you got a necklace here um so i guess yeah the client wouldn't be wouldn't be like super necessary i guess yeah it don't really matter if you have one fucking use it if you don't then you don't um use the high human so that's fine um, the high human set, I feel like having two sets is ideal. Um, so I think you can get by with just two sets. Um, anything else that's like a very crucial, critical set. Now, there's some sets that we did skip that, you know what I'm saying, it just doesn't matter. I'm just not really, just focusing on some of the key sets here. It's not a complete guide. We just kind of just made this on the go. Um, so I mean, it is what it is. Um... I do like this for DPS purposes. I do like the Ami set because you can put a necklace on there and that's a really good damage dealing set. Um, do I feel like you need it for raids? No. But anyways, um, yeah, Trinity set is really nice too. So if you get you a Trinity set going for uh, raids here, um, that, that works well also. So I, I do feel like that's a needed set. At least have one. Um, anyways, that pretty much does it. So that's just a quick overview of some of the critical sets. I mainly just wanted to make it for the party sets to let you know how many party sets you, you needed in the uh, guild raids. What exactly sets to focus on. Um, what do you need? Yeah, and this tiger set, you do need a set of that if you don't have this set. This set's better, but if you don't have that, get the tiger set. But anyways, I just wanted to make this to give you the party sets and we just threw in some of the crucial other sets also just to throw them in. Um, anyways, I hope that that was helpful for y'all. Anyways, it's your boy, Jake Gutter, in the building. Holla at your boy.